Greg Ritka. Mr. Speaker, I wish to pass on my sincere condolences and sympathies to the family of Tony on his passing. I got to know uh, Tony Lloyd just after his return, Mr. Speaker, to the House here in 2017. And then when he was appointed Northern Ireland spokesperson for the Labour Party, um, a very senior uh, member of the Labour Party, whose ultimate responsibility it was when that person was coming to Northern Ireland was to meet with the innocent victims of terrorism. And uh, despite my best efforts to get that person to, to meet them, uh, Tony came to me and said, I will meet them, Gregory. And I said, thank you very much, Tony. I arranged a meeting. And uh, it was the first time I had been in a uh, close proximity to uh, Tony in a meeting where there was a small group of people as opposed to the chamber. And initially, I, I felt deeply touched by his empathy and how he listened to the trauma of many people who'd suffered at the hands of terror and how he very calmly and patiently responded to each and every person. And I deeply appreciated that. But what struck me even more, Mr. Speaker, was after he finished his term as Labour frontbench spokesperson on Northern Ireland, and he no longer had that responsibility, he sat behind me, or, me here in the chamber, tapped me on the shoulder one day and said, Gregory, I would like to meet those people again. He didn't have to. He didn't need to. But he did. And that, and, and again, he showed and demonstrated his empathy. And Mr. Speaker, I was reminded this morning in preparation for these few words that all of our mortality is something that at this occasion we should be reminded of. And as the old book says, what does God require of us? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. Thank you. Thank you.